Our multi-criteria detectors have the unique ability to detect fire by utilizing four different detection criteria, smoke, carbon monoxide, heat, and infrared light. This helps deliver the highest nuisance alarm immunity. Because of its sophistication, the testing procedure of these detectors may differ from your normal detectors. Before testing, notify the proper authorities. Also note, this device is not listed for applications in which standalone CO is required for life safety. Like all of our addressable detectors, this multi-criteria detector can be tested for proper electronic function with a magnet test. If you would prefer to test the sensors of this detector with physical stimuli, there are two methods that you can use. The first method is to test functionally and by individual element. The second method is to test using a multi-criteria tester. The sensor can be functionally tested with a test magnet as stated earlier. Hold the test magnet in the magnet test area. The sensor will communicate an alarm to the panel. This functional test also creates a 10-minute window where the device's signal processing software routines are bypassed. You should complete the smoke and heat test during this window. To test for smoke entry, you can use an aerosol generator or simulated smoke. To test for direct heat, you can use a 1000 to 1500 watt hairdryer to test the thermistors. To avoid damaging the plastic housing, hold the hairdryer 12 inches from the detector, directing it towards either of the two thermistors and repeat with the other thermistor. The detector will reset only after it has had sufficient time to cool. Another option for testing the detector is the multi-criteria test. If you choose multi-criteria testing, you will need to use a multi-stimulus detector tester, which you can purchase from SDI No Climb Products. This tester is capable of introducing smoke, heat, and carbon monoxide either sequentially or simultaneously. Please note, IR sensor testing is not necessary because it is continually supervised, making it self-tested. A sensor that fails any of these tests should be cleaned and retested. If the sensor fails after cleaning, it must be replaced. When testing is complete, restore the system to normal operation and notify the proper authorities that the system is back in operation. For more information on multi-criteria detectors, refer to the product manual or visit our website.